It's a business now. You know, it's tough because, but where do you stop with all of this? Uh, should we not stop paying Brad Pitt twenty million dollars a movie? Because I, you you have to. It's this. You, you know. Yeah. I, I always say to people that say sportsmen are overpaid. I always say, don't think about it like your mommy and daddy's job. Rather think of it as entertainment, in their world. Would you ever say anything about Giselle Bunchen being worth two hundred million dollars because she won the genetic lottery? Of course not. You wouldn't say that. She's a model and has amplified and and turned herself into a business. That's the world, right? Mm. Is that? I think the sad part is this: is that we put our souls into football, and nobody ever wants to feel like a human soul is commodified, like because deep down in our souls, you don't want to say somebody's a commodity. But really, players are commodities. They're an asset. Hmm. They, they, are, they are moved around like pawns on a chessboard. And when you're done, Kuniguro, you've, uh, you've made history for us, but get the hell out of here. Uh, and it's the same with the fans and the consumers. They're an asset. So you're saying now you don't like that part. We, we should be a part of the club. You, 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 you like that romance part of I'm a part of something pure. Because money, money dirties things, right? Let's be clear. In your personal life, everywhere... Where it, which is why, remember, I was saying everybody should always talk about money. But anyway, that's a separate conversation. Is Are you saying money, money muddles things, huh?